So, well, uh, there's a fellow by the name of Mark Sippin or Sipian. I think it might be Sipian, being hailed as a hero after what he did Wednesday morning. Mike is a helicopter pilot for Sky Fox, which I think he's based in uh, Milwaukee, Fox 6, the local news uh, television station mm. there. But I think he may fly for other stations in that part of the country. Well, shortly before noon on Wednesday, Mike and a news photographer were flying from Kenosha, Wisconsin to Chicago when a seagull hit the front window of the helicopter. Not only did the bird strike the choppa, it went through the windshield and smashed right into the pilot's face. Oof. Bird strike to the face. Bird strike to the face. In the face. <laughs> gotcha, that's right. Mike, amazingly, was able to keep the aircraft steady, level, and landed in a field in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. A first responder comments. We know they was traveling at a good speed uh, in route southbound after leaving the airport, and he took the bird strike, was able to calmly and collectively land in a field without having to disrupt any traffic or cause anybody harm. How about this guy? Amazing work. The photographer, uninjured. Right. Mike, the pilot. I had to go to the hospital for cuts and bruises. Mm-hmm. That's pretty darn good. And the though. helicopter's ruined. I have to put new, yeah, it's it's smashed. New shield on it. Yeah. It's smashed up. Can't fly at home. So it gets to his. So it goes through right through the, the, shield. the windshield. Aren't you surprised by that? Yes. A bird. <laughs> <laughs> you think it'd be killed and knocked off and bounce off? Yeah. I don't know how fast that helicopter was going, and then the bird's going. Oh, yeah. How fast did birds fly? Yeah, that's physics. But I mean, seagulls. You don't think of them as being mm-hmm. tremendously fast birds, but you heard the EMT say, yeah. High rate of speed. Well, you know what happened to Fabio when he was on that roller coaster? That was a, was that a goose. Canada goose. Oh, that was. That's a bigger bird. Much yeah, bigger. Much larger bird. Broke his nose. Broke his nose. I remember, he's all bloody. Yeah. The, the, the very first time that roller he coaster. He took it, man. Right, Apollo's chariot. It, Apollo's chariot, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. He was, he was surrounded by uh, women in women. togas. That's yeah. right. They he all, was the celebrity that He day. was. Blood yeah. squirting everywhere. And Fabio out there, blood and nose yeah. just bleeding like crazy. Unbelievable. Yes, I am uh, impressed with this guy who... We have Fabio speaking on it. <laughs> this was Fabio when he got hit by the goose. The ride, after the first 120-foot drop, and you go down about 75 miles an hour, he goes right over a pond where there are geese flying and flying out. And what happened is, like, I, I got, like, a 20-pound goose right in my face, and, you know, the impact was, was horrendous. Bruised and bloody, Fabio had no choice but to finish out the ride. He was immediately rushed to the emergency room, where doctors were stunned to find only a small cut on the bridge of his nose. Just one stitch was needed to close the wound. It was a total miracle. Maybe his nose wasn't broken. It was just one it stitch. Sure looked like one stitch. I sure did. Oh, I thought blood that was amazing. covered in blood. Blood was everywhere on that guy. He I was actually on that stitch. ride. Not, oh, yeah. not that day. Oh, right. <laughs> but like 10 years later. Yeah. <laughs> a little insulting during that interview, and there's geese in the background quacking. It's like insult to injury. Yeah. Just Hulk slap across your face. Yeah, their cousin got killed by yeah. that, by the way. Mm-hmm. What's their news say? Yeah. This monster killed our cousin. Hey, where's Larry now? There's yeah. no monument. They let him go. Goose news. They let him go. Who did it? <laughs> that that chick down there. <laughs> Who went the long blonde hair? That real muscular chick. <laughs> That's no chick. That's Fabio. What? The romance novel guy? Yeah, yeah. that guy did it. Why are they taking him to the hospital? Don't they know what happened to Larry over the, here? The, I can't believe it's not Butter That's Pitch Man. That's right. That guy did That's it. That's right. He's a murderer. He's a stone cold murderer. Murder's geese. Man, brutal. <laughs> and finally, as you heard, the, the Diamondbacks got a win in the NLCS yesterday. While that was happening, almost. An Ohio woman had to go to the hospital after she was bitten by a diamondback. Ooh. Not a human. She works for the Cincinnati Zoo, and she was in the snake enclosure, and an eastern diamondback bit her. We don't know where, Mm -hmm. but uh, as, as as Dave can tell you, snake experts and herpetologists can say, will tell you, the eastern diamondback is the North America's longest, heaviest venomous snake. Is that right? Yeah. The they, gentleman snake. They average five feet in length. I don't know about that. That's what they call it because it uh, rattles to warn you, I'm going to strike now. Oh. So it gives you a little warning. <laughs> oh, hi there. They call, they call it the gentleman snake. I thought he wore a top hat. No, he's in the, it'll, you know, it gives you a little rattle to Thank say, oh, I'm up. over here. You and know, by the time you look, right, he's well, already bit you. 
Well, but the copperhead doesn't do a thing, does it? It just bites you. you it know, just bites you. It goes. It bites you. Bite you. Oh, oh, man. Don't trust the copperhead. <laughs> no. mm-hmm. Rattlesnake give you a little, hey, I'm over you know. Okay. <laughs> Back away quickly. Back away. <laughs> they told us at uh, this one time at Friday the 13th camp. <laughs> <laughs> they told us that if you feel something going up your butt, it might be an Eastern Diamond bag. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's literally that's a direct quote. In the middle of the night. If something's going up your butt, it's either your campmate or an Eastern Diamond bag. <laughs> <laughs> know your partner. <laughs> Neither is right neither is good yes okay no they said this one time at friday the 13th camp they said when you're out walking in the woods be very careful we have bears we have copperheads we have rattlesnakes and lot lizards right (laughs) there's actually a truck stop through those woods sometimes they roam over but that's new jersey i was very surprised to hear rattlesnakes in new jersey aren't you surprised by that dave no, I don't. Well, maybe this time of year. But to go that, I I thought they were like southeast no. and southwestern, like Man. desert animals. No, I think they're in forests. Uh, they're, they they're, they're they're in they're in eastern forests. They're everywhere now. Apparently, I thought they were just like Florida and Arizona, Texas, New New Mexico, mm. that area. No, I think they like I think they like mountainous, rugged conditions, and they have some, like you said, they have lots of uh, greenery up there. They do, and they they sure were. According to him, they were there. I don't know how far north they go. But. He said, if something crawls up your butt. It's the gentleman snake. <laughs> Is that Good you, Larry? <laughs> We're supposed to rattle. Horrible. <laughs>